You may think you're doing everything right to keep thieves from stealing your credit card number, but simply walking around with your credit card in your wallet could make you a victim. News Force John Nicely shows us how to tell if your card is under attack and how you can protect yourself. Radio frequency technology, or RF, lets you buy something merely by waving your credit card in front of a card reader. No swipe necessary. Here's the problem. Criminals know it. And they're using the same technology to steal your credit card information. So we decided to put it to the test. I'm going to try and scan your wallet here. Basically just run that over. And you have a Visa card in there, probably PNC Bank. Yeah. And it worked on the guys. This is my card number coming through my wallet and my shorts. Let's back up because we just got their credit card info. Everything we need to make a purchase. So this nifty little carrying case right here, you're telling me this is not an iPad. No, it's not an <laughs> iPad. It looks like an iPad and to anybody in the crowd they'd think it was an iPad. But I can actually walk around through a crowd and wave this by people's wallets or purses and scan their credit cards. Walt Augustinowicz is not a criminal. He runs a company called Identity Stronghold and he custom made this setup with stuff he bought online. We have a credit card reader, a battery, and uh, just a little Bluetooth transmitter. And um, about $100, most of that being the Bluetooth transmitter. We actually were able to pick up a credit card reader for under $10. The technology can't steal any card, only ones with the newer RF technology. You can tell if your card has it, if it has this symbol. About 100 million of them already have that in circulation. It's about 30% about of everybody has at least one in their wallet. Some people say, well, you're telling people how to do this. No, the, the bad guys already know it. I told you we talked with the St. Louis County Police, St. Louis Police Department, and the St. Louis FBI office. They said, to their knowledge, they're not seeing this in St. Louis. But that's the thing. It's to their knowledge because they wouldn't. there's no way of knowing it was stolen this way versus any other way. In full disclosure, Walt has an interest in wow. getting the word out because Identity Stronghold sells products that block the RF signal and protect your card. You can also protect your card by simply wrapping it in tin foil. But Walt showed us a new ripple he discovered this week. Using a credit card encoder that costs a couple hundred bucks, he can transfer your stolen card info onto any other card. We tested it on the road using his coworker's American Express card, with permission, of course. I'm going to go ahead and put it onto one of my personal credit cards. And then we went shopping, and sure enough, it worked. We went into a store, bought a couple items. Swipe my Visa card through the register, and sure enough. And I saw Walt use his Visa card, but when the receipt printed out, it clearly states American Express showing the charge went to Walt's coworker. The credit card companies responded saying they have protection measures in place and their customers aren't responsible for any fraudulent purchases. Walt says his examples showed they haven't done enough. John Nicely, News 4.